This guy's making his debut in kickboxing, 19 years old. Holy shit! 19 versus 33 years old. Uh. Whoa! But see, Andrew can get away fighting like this because he's fighting somebody who's shorter. Once he fights somebody who's the same height as him, all that shit goes out the window. Welcome back, boys. We got another breakdown for you. My producer wanted me to break this one down. Cosmic versus Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate, the one who's in charge of the Matrix. The one who says we are living in a Matrix. I've broken down one of his fights before to see if his uh, kickboxing is legit. Now I'm going to break this fight down. If you are new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. Also hit the bell to know when we go live. Uh, obviously, we know uh, Andrew Tate is not kickboxing anymore. He is living his best life wherever he lives with all those badass cars he got and those, you know, paddocks that he's got. Uh, but we're going to give this fight a breakdown and see uh, what he can do. Blue corner, in cultural bastro. This guy's making his debut in kickboxing, 19 years old. Cosby Lingura. All right. Chakuma, ladies and gentlemen, in Colsul Roshu. Versa 33. So Andrew Tate is bald, so he's got to be older. Alonso, 1 metro 92. Holy shit! 19 versus 33 years old. Uh. So this has to be COVID-19 because they have masks on. Let's give it up to Luton United Kingdom. One second. I, I gotta see how old Andrew Tate is at this time. 33. So huge mismatch right off the bat. Huge, huge, huge mismatch right off the bat. 75 wins and nine losses to someone who's making their pro debut in kickboxing. Um, huge uh, mismatch. Like Andrew should be fighting someone who's at least 35 and seven. Oh, shit. Ooh, they're throwing leather though, dude. They are throwing leather. Well, well, already he's doing a good job. He's overwhelming Andrew Tate um, because he is a shorter fighter. He's trying to get to him with the overhand rights. Uh, you you don't want to be on the outside as we've talked about before in mixed martial arts when you're doing a kickboxing match you don't want to be on the outside especially when you're the shorter guy so he's doing a good job of bum rushing him which is the smart thing to do let's see boop. right there Whoa! See. Yep, so he's using his longest weapon, which is his kicks. Keep him away. <laughs> this guy's beating his. <laughs> oh man. Ooh. Good body kick from Andrew. Shh. So what this guy is doing, and what Andrew's doing. So Andrew's doing a good job. Andrew's the longer fighter. So once this guy starts throwing across the void, right? There's this void. This guy starts throwing from maybe right here. But Andrew sees it coming because he's not, you know, having good rhythm. He's just running across the void and throwing. Andrew pulls back and goes check right hook and check left hook, right? He's pulling his head back, which is this guy's trying to hit it, and he's countering with the left and the right hook. 
And before the guy comes across the void, Andrew does a push kick or he does a, a body nine because he's reaching like that. That's pretty much what's going on. So this guy's going to get knocked out. So Andrew's doing a good job of reading, reading him. This guy's doing a good job of bum rushing him, but he's bum rushing him too fast. He needs to slow down the bum rush and work his way across that distance or walk across that void. That way, when he gets there, when Andrew brings his head back, he brings his head back. He keeps it back here. And then when he brings it back forward, then you hit him. And you're going to have a collision coming in. That's what he needs to do. But he's bum rushing it. So he's not giving he's not giving his the head enough time to get back to him so he can hit it. Push kick right there. We see how he leans back. He leans back and throws. Push kick. Yes. And I've, I feel like Andrew's more of a karate style because he does a lot of push kicks. He does a lot of push kicks, like a, a chambered kicks like karate. Push kick. You see how Andrew pulls his head away? He's trying to he's trying to hit somebody who's way taller than him and he's pulling his head away. He's better off beating the hell out of Andrew's body. Let's see. Here's a replay right here. Look, you see how he's throwing outside of that void? He's running across and trying to hit him. But the crazy thing is Andrew has not thrown one leg kick, not one. But I will give Andrew this. Andrew has a good, like right there. Look, look where his head goes. He backs up, throws that body kick. The guy misses with that, goes forward even more. But see where he's throwing? He's throwing right there. And they're just exchanging. And Andrew takes getting the better of their exchange. But he's just, once they get to this point, they just throw, they both throw. There's that check hook I was talking about. But see, Andrew can get away fighting like this because he's fighting somebody who's shorter. Once he fights somebody who's the same height as him, all that shit goes out the window. All of it goes out the window because the range is the same thing. If he does that with somebody who's more crisp and the same length as him, he's going to get caught all freaking day. And this guy when andrew he should start attacking andrew we know andrew's gonna run you kick his legs because his legs are behind him i'll show you what i mean by kick his legs Second round. there's a leg kick right there but look at this guy's position right here. He's overextended. Overextended. And watch, Andrew's going to counter that. I'm going to slow it down. No, he didn't counter it. He's, he's trying to reach a tree that's being blown away from him. That landed. That landed. Mm. 
See, Andrew does his best work when he's going backwards. When somebody's going towards, going after him, he does his best work. When he starts his attack, he just smothers his distance. Muay Thai clinch. Yeah, Andrew best works when he's going backwards. He's a great counter uh, attack puncher. Like in this fight, this is where he did the best work. Like I feel, and, and the thing is too, uh, Andrew's kickboxing is legit. He has 75 wins. Um, don't know who they're against. Yeah, I, I think the biggest thing is that for Andrew, it, it, he's 33. He's taking on a guy who just did his pro debut. He's 19 years old. Uh, the biggest thing is I would say his kickboxing is legit. Um, he didn't throw one leg kick the whole entire time. Um, I think the fight could have been totally different if he would have threw jab 10, jab 10, kick that leg. Then he would have broken down the mobility. Then he could show the jab, show the kick, throw a Superman punch, show, show, move to angle, 2-5. And then knee to the body. And then when it got back up, 3-2. Like, he wasn't really putting a lot of combinations together. He was more retreating and bringing his head back and, and like, catching him with the check hook, left hook, right hook. So, but, ladies and gentlemen, this man says we're all living in a matrix. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. Also, hit the bell to know when we go live.